think, Bill? Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, pal. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Down! Get down! They see! It's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. Thanks for the You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave.
You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with me. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Imagine crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side.
At the fork, you follow the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. He stirred up a hornet's nest. He chopped a hornet's nest. Roger that. Chopper is out. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged the head. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right.
Reports at the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fort, not right. You allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command! This is Big Duke 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. There's VC all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Big Duke 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area. 30 seconds out. Give Bell another injection. That could be lethal. Do it now! Bell's heart rate is already... Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. is coming down now. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. Bell. 
Well, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. But we tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job. Have a job. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell.
He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves Trabzon, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duga alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find out who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the same name, Solovetsky. 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 Sims, 
Get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Is. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Take Perseus off the air. 